Virgo, welcome into the Gifted Hermit. If you're new to the channel, a very warm welcome. My name is Leela. I reside in London, UK. And if you'd like to, in the comment section below, let me know a little bit about yourself. I'm always intrigued to know my viewers are from. So, I mean, this may be hard to hear, I suppose, for some Virgos. With regards to, like, where we're at right now with our love life and stuff like that. Virgo, Queen of Pentacles was the first card to come out. And it represents us Virgos, okay? She's got a huge pentacle there in her hand. Like, you guys are very self-made. You know, you're, you're driven. Not only that, you're very nurturing, very kind, very motherly or fatherly. You know, people come to you for advice. Very graceful. She's got um, a peacock there. Perhaps I'll put in the comment section or one of you guys will exactly what a peacock signifies in the spiritual realm. Okay, but um, very earthy, very grounded, got so much love to give. So maybe, you know, some of you guys are kind of coming back to remembering who it is that you are. You know, um, realizing something here as well, I think, for a lot of you guys. Now, the Strength card came out in reverse, the Seven of Cups and the Knight of Pentacles. Now, my first my first thought when I saw this was like, <sighs> impulsively made the wrong choice. At times, you know, we don't feel good enough, we don't feel worthy enough, or we give the first person or like a chance that comes along we go full throttle with the Knight of Pentacles there. But you've always got options. Like, there's always a better option. There's always more than one person that's got their eye on you. You know, it's not a case of... It's not a case of you're not good enough. Because someone always wants you. But then in life, some people just take advantage of that. So I feel like a lot of you guys kind of like... You give your all when it comes to the connections. But in the end, there's a lot of self-doubt here. Impulsively, you know, you've acted on a connection. But really, when it comes to the long term, when you step out of the the scenario, what has this person got to offer you, you know? So perhaps you made the wrong choice because of self-doubt. Because of impulse. You know, like we are the sign of the virgin, like we just go full throttle. You know, we give people our all and where does that leave us? Well, we're going to jump into a love reading. I just felt the need to say that, you know. So who is it that is thinking about Virgo currently? Who is it that's thinking about Virgo? Please remember to smash the thumbs button. It really does help me as a reader. Who is it that is currently thinking about the Virgo? Okay. For some of you guys, it could be a Taurus. For some of you, it doesn't have to be a Taurus. It could be somebody that's just quite stubborn in nature. Now, I'm picking up on someone from the past. Okay. Someone that's quite nostalgic. Whoever is that's thinking about you, I really feel like they're thinking about the values that you have as a person. I think this person thinks that you're very traditional, you know, and that's hard to come by in this day and age. Like Virgo, Virgo's got good values. Virgo is very spiritual. Virgo is very grounded. Virgo wants to do things prim and proper, you know, no friends with benefits type of energy, no flings, one night stands. That's not Virgo. Okay, maybe that's how they saw you. Now, I'm not saying you're coming across as that, but maybe that's just like what they thought it was going to be. You know, nothing too serious. Give me one more card for the person that is thinking about Virgo. Definitely there is someone from the past that's thinking about you. Definitely someone's kind of thinking, yeah, Eight of Cups wanted to come out there. Someone from the past that I think, I believe you walked away from. They could have walked away from you. I believe that this connection is current. Oh, look, you can't make this up. Seven of Swords on the bottom of the deck. So there was deceived energy here, you know, with regards to the person that's thinking about you. Okay, someone lied to you. Perhaps you lied to them, but I doubt it. I feel like um, 
there's definitely some sort of betrayal, deceivement here. Look, see what I'm saying about the friends with benefits? You know, three of cups gives me friendship vibes. So yeah, who it is that's thinking about you? It's come to an end or you turn your back on them. They've turned their back on you. Things have collapsed emotionally. They're thinking about, wow, like Virgo left me. Virgo kind of turned their back on me. You know, they're thinking about it. They're thinking about you and how grounded you are and how to do There's a lesson being learned here. So the person that's thinking about you is learning. Okay. Learning from this connection in some way or another. Who is it that wants Virgo? Who is it that wants Virgo? King of Cups wanting to come out there. Wheel of Fortune. Sagittarius energy. Okay. Tell me more about who is it that wants Virgo. Ten of Wands wanting to come out there. Ten of Wands is there. So, we also have the Magician card. Some of you guys could be dealing with a Gemini or were dealing with a Gemini. Also, Virgo, with regards to the Magician card there, okay? I feel like the person that wants you, Virgo, I believe it just got a bit too serious, a bit heavy in some way or another, okay? I believe that this person was a fated connection, like you guys were meant to meet for some way, some reason or another, you know, I believe that perhaps you were completely different to the type of people that they associate themselves with regards to connections and stuff like that, I believe that they learned a lot from you, I believe that some of you guys, this person manifested you in their life, you know, it's almost like, Virgo, you're a wise old soul and that was probably a bit too much for them, yeah? A lot of responsibility comes with connections, sacrifices and so forth. And I feel like this was a bit too too overbearing for them, okay? Too much responsibility. Oh, it's all getting too much. It's all getting too serious. That, that could be perhaps why this connection <clears throat> came to an halt. You know, came to a halt or somebody left somebody here, you know. Definitely something to do with lessons being learned here. We've got three major arcana. So there's been big changes in your life right now. Okay. I believe that you were definitely somebody that was good for them, you know. But I reckon they didn't realise that, you know. Let's move on to who is it that truly loves Virgo. Who is it that truly loves Virgo, I feel like those didn't want to come out, weren't meant to come out, who's it that truly loves Virgo, five of cups, whoever it is that truly loves you, perhaps they disappointed you, perhaps they know that they've disappointed you, perhaps you're disappointed by them, sadness here though, regret, disappointment, yeah look, ten of swords wants to come out here, do you know what, I just feel like, yeah, I feel like um, they were juggling something here, could be you and another person i definitely feel like a lot of you that this came to an end somebody feels betrayed here somebody feels like an option whether that be you or or them but i do get this kind of with the two of pentacles a sense of should i shouldn't i what should i do and this could be like two people yeah where you were an option you were a choice I feel like somebody knows that they let you down. Yeah. I feel like this person that that apparently loves you. Yeah. Apparently nothing, nothing, nothing to me. Yeah, I just feel like um perhaps they're getting there. That they feel I feel like they feel like um the type of person that's quite resilient. You know, and um, it's like they're seeing stuff for what it is now. Or you're seeing stuff for what it is. Like, I've got this word, epiphany. And it's been in my mind this morning. Like, ah, you know, Virgo is starting to see shit for what it really is. And we, we are nobody's option. Like, quite frankly, we're not going to be in that energy. Like, it's all or nothing. But I feel wounded here. Like, there's wounded energy. Somebody's really upset. Yeah, look, just like this whole option energy, this seven of cups, 
temptation, wish, wishing, um, like you got your hopes up, you know, I feel like a lot of Virgos are on their money now, they're on their A game, you're thinking very logical, like I feel like, I feel like a lot of you guys are really seeing stuff clearly for what it is, it's kind of what I'm getting in this reading, of course it's not going to resonate with everybody, some of you guys might have been dealing with a Libra, I feel like you've been very honest with this person. Some of you guys might have been in an interracial connection. Two different cultures, two different backgrounds, perhaps. There was manifestation here at work. Like this person frigging manifested you in their life, but at the same time, I feel like they let you down, you know. Someone's definitely thinking about you, thinking about the good times. The person that wants you... Um, feels like you've changed, you know, they've, they've learned a lot here, it's very heavy energy, so it's like, I want you Virgo, but it's all a bit too heavy for me, and then the person that loves you is kind of probably going through some bullshit right now, you know, P probably trying to keep busy in order to stay out of their mind and their feelings, but there it still lingers, listen Virgo, you just got to take care of you, you know, because you are what's most important. Anyhow, please remember to smash the thumbs button if you find that it resonates with you in any way. I friggin' love you guys. You're so supportive on the channel. Um, you can book me for a personal reading. You can follow me on the socials and you can catch me for life tarot. But for now, beautiful Virgos, be kind to others. But most importantly, be kind to you and the gifted will catch you on the rebound. Take care, my loves. Mwah.